Hello, Sam here from Alder Systems, and in this video, I'd like to show you how we can load third-party applications onto an AccuBox answering station. So this here is an AccuBox S563W. It's an eight inch touchscreen, typically used as an answering station for SIP based intercoms. This unit runs the Android 12 operating system. It features an exceptional speaker and high resolution touchscreen display, ensuring an unparalleled audio visual intercom experience. It also comes in a seven inch and a 10 inch option too. This unit has a 1280 by 800 resolution screen, eight alarm inputs, one doorbell connection and a relay output. It supports RS-485 and is a pretty small footprint on the wall too. It can be mounted in a UK or US style back box. The mounting plate comes in the box and there's also a desk stand you can get for it too. Now this particular unit that I've got runs the Android operating system. I don't know about you, but when I see a device that runs the Android operating system, I instantly think, what can I load onto that device? And that's exactly what I did. This particular unit doesn't run the Google Play Store, but we can load APKs or Android packages onto it. So in other words, we can run third-party applications such as Control 4, Elan, Crash Drone Home, Rayco, Cassatunes, Sonos, and so on, even Netflix and YouTube. So I'm gonna show you two ways that I worked out to load apps onto this device. One is using an APK marketplace where we can download apps directly onto the device. And the other is downloading the APKs to your computer and uploading them individually to the touchscreen. First, what I'm gonna show you is the marketplace method. Now, before we continue, any APK you download from the internet or outside of the Google Play Store is entirely at your own risk. While I've done my own research on these APK sites and so far had no problems or encountered any issues, you should still do your due diligence and check the APKs are verified. The first thing I need to do is configure the panel to allow for third-party APKs to be loaded onto it. On the panel, I go to settings, system info, basic, and I press the user permission 10 times to change it to admin. Now I head to the web UI of the panel and log in. The password is admin admin. It will prompt you to change this, but I'm not going to for this video. I go to device and third party APK. And here is where I can load APKs for individual apps. So after doing some research and reading reviews, I found Aptoid. This gives me a marketplace for third-party Android apps. So I'll go to en.aptoid.com and search for Aptoid and download the APK. I'll now head over to the web UI of the Activox touchscreen and click import. find Aptoid and install it. And it gives me a success message. I go to the touch screen now, go to application and choose Aptoid. And here is the marketplace. First thing I'll search for is the nice viewer. Now I can see the app is verified because of the green tick. If I go to the Aptoid website and also search for Nice Viewer, I can see the vendor is Core Brands, which is correct for this app. If I go to Info, we see the developer is Core Brands and organization is Elan. So I'm pretty confident this is a verified app. I'll go back to the touch screen and I'll install it. There will be a few permissions to allow. Read through and see if you're happy with what it asks. It's like installing an app on your normal Android phone from Google Play anyway. It will ask you for permissions for the app to access on your phone. I'm going to the app and I'm just gonna use the Elan demo system for this video. 
I can see the system as if I was using the phone app or a LAN touchscreen. So just be aware though, because this is a third party device, it uses up a seat. Out of the box, you get two seats for free on a LAN or nice home management. If you wanna have the app open on more than two devices at a time, you will need to buy the one-off viewer license, which you can get through all the systems. Excellent. Okay, so let's do a couple more. Let's do Rayco. In the Aptoid store, I'll search Rayco. And again, I'm going to go to their website and just to see if it's a trusted app. And the organization is Rayco Controls. So again, pretty confident this is a verified app. That's installed. I'll open the app and it's now found my Rayco hub. I'll go to the living room area and that's where I have some RGB tape lights. I'm going to press the scene buttons and the tape lights respond and turn on to the colors that are set on those button presses. I can then go to the color wheel and change the colors there too. And I can also go to the channels and change the lights individually as well. Let's do one more using this method. Let's say Control 4. Now, be aware, at the time of this video, Intercom isn't supported on the Control 4 app for tablet devices. But why would you use it when you're using AccuBox for the Intercom anyway? So I've downloaded that and let's log into the app. And I haven't got a very big control for system anymore, but here is the UI with security, watch and listen, and it works exactly the same as the phone application. That's the method to load APKs onto this touch panel by using the Aptoid Marketplace. I even loaded YouTube for Android and the Netflix app on this panel as well, because why not? So we can also manually add APKs to this panel as well. So let's go through that method. For this, I'm gonna use APK Pure. Again, I've done a bit of research and this is another recommended APK site, but again, use at your own risk. Make sure you do your due diligence when installing these APKs onto the panel. So I'll search Crash Drawn Home on APK Pure and download the APK file. This one takes a little while, but when it's downloaded, I'll go to the web UI of the AccuBox panel and import the APK. Success.
I'll go to the panel and there is Crestron Home. I haven't got a Crestron system here, but here is the application. And that's how we can load third-party apps onto an Acubox Android answering unit. Now, if you are unsure or uncertain about using APK sites to load apps onto these panels, you can reach out to the manufacturers and the product vendors to see if they've got a copy of the APK they can send over to you. Thank you very much for watching, and I do hope this video was of some help.